the discriminant. The, so the discriminant is related to the quadratic formula and it's all to do with, um, in fact the discriminant is this little expression here under the square root, the b squared minus 4ac. And if you watched the previous video on the quadratic formula, you'll have seen in the last two examples we had interesting things going on under the square root which dictated the number of solutions that we were going to get. So what we found, for example, in the third example, I think it was in the last video, was that underneath the square root we had zero. So the discriminant was zero and that resulted in just one solution. Um, and we had a situation where what was under the square root, the discriminant was negative. Um, and it's quite clear to see what will happen when you actually calculate that. But what it means is that we can calculate the discriminant in order to identify the number of solutions. So this little expression becomes linked with the number of solutions. So this b squared minus 4ac, as I said, is called the discriminant. We use um, a del great letter delta or a little triangle to represent the discriminant. So our um, solution to a quadratic equation is negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all divided by 2a. And when using the quadratic formula it can actually become a good habit to work out the discriminant first and then you'll be able to work out whether you need to go any further at all. You might find at that point you're not going to have any solutions and you can stop. If you are going to have solutions and you then need to work them out then you've already done half of your calculation anyway and you just need to substitute it in. So it can be a good habit to get into working out the discriminant before you do anything else. So now thinking about the specific cases, so if we had a negative discriminant, if what was under the square root was negative, we know that we can't take the square root of a negative and so we would get no solutions to this problem because we would have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of something negative all over 2a and this is a problem. So we're going to get no solutions if our discriminant is negative. If the discriminant is zero, so we're going to have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of zero all over 2a, well the square root of zero is zero, so we're just going to get negative b over 2a. So we just get one solution, negative b over 2a. And what would happen if the discriminant is positive? So if we had x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of something positive all over 2a. Well, we know when we square root something positive, we get positive or negative. So that's where we're getting our two solutions, a number plus the square root of the discriminant over 2a, a number minus the square root of the discriminant over 2a are our two solutions. So the key thing is about linking this idea of discriminant to number of solutions. And there are a number of different problems in different areas that arise where it's about the number of solutions or the number of points of intersection um, and the discriminant should be what's coming to mind when you're thinking about that sort of thing. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So here we want to use the discriminant to determine how many solutions each of the following equations will have and if there are solutions we should find them. So we're going to work out the discriminant before anything else. So discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, so 49 minus 4 times 4 times 5, so 49 minus uh, 4 times 5 is 20 and times 4 is 80, uh, so that gives me negative, what's that, 31, doesn't really matter how big it is, it's negative, so therefore since my discriminant is negative, we're going to have no solutions. So no need to go any further. In part b, have a look at the discriminant. b squared, so 64 minus 4 times a times c. So 64 minus 12, so 32. So we have positive discriminant. So we're going to have two solutions. And so we can go ahead and find those two solutions now. We know that x is equal to negative b, so negative negative 8, plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, which we've worked out, all divided by 2 times a, so 2 times 3, which is 6. So root 32 is not a simplified third, so we need to simplify it. So 32 is 16 times 2, 
which means it's root 16 times root 2, so 4 root 2. And we have a common factor of 2 throughout this fraction, so if we divide everything by 2, we're going to have our solutions in simplest form. Okay, so this is a fairly common kind of example involving the discriminant. Find the possible value or values of m if mx squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0 is to have two solutions. So two solutions means that we want the discriminant to be positive. So we need to work out the discriminant. b squared minus 4 times a times c. So 9 minus 20m, and we need 9 minus 20m to be bigger than 0 for two solutions. So we can add 20m to both sides, and divide both sides by 20. When we have an inequality, we generally write the unknown on the left, so m is less than 9 over 20. So if m is anything less than 9 over 20, this quadratic equation will have two solutions. Here's another example where the discriminant arises. So we want to find the value of k if y equals 2x plus k is tangent to y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. So we've got a linear equation and a quadratic equation and we want the line to be tangent to the quadratic. So if it's going to be tangent, that means we want just one point of intersection. So now we need to think about, okay, well if I was going to find the points of intersection, I would set the two equations next to each, um, equal to each other. So 2x plus k has to equal x squared minus 6x plus 8. So that's x squared subtracting 2x from both sides, so minus 8x and subtracting k from both sides equals 0. So I have a quadratic equation to solve in order to find the points of intersection. Now what I know is I want there to be only one point of intersection, so I want this quadratic equation to have only one solution. So we want one solution, which means we need the discriminant to equal zero in this case. So let's work out the discriminant. b squared minus 4. Now be careful here because you've got c is a, a multi-term expression. So 4 times a is 1 and c is 8 minus k. So we've got 64 minus 4 times 8 minus k, so 64 minus 32 plus 4k, okay so my discriminant is 32 plus 4k and I need discriminant to equal 0, so I need 32 plus 4k which is the discriminant to equal 0. So 4k has to equal negative 32, so k must be equal to negative 8 if um, the linear graph is to be tangent to the quadratic graph, that is if they are to have only one point of intersection. So there are many different situations in which the discriminant arises, it's not just about determining, it's not going to be a simple straightforward determine how many solutions this quadratic equation has. These last two examples are far more common applications involving the discriminant.